guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how I've reorganized the storage in our laundry room slash utility room. It was getting completely out of control and it was just building up with random items in this room that I didn't even use. It became a bit of a dumping ground and it was actually making the room harder to use than it should be when it came to doing laundry or getting the boys ready in the morning. It was just crazy trying to find things. Almost all of the storage solutions that I've got for this room are from Poundland. So it's a really, really cheap way to reorganize. So the first step that I did was take everything out of the cupboards and take it to our dining table so there was no going back. I had to sort through it. So first thing that I did was get rid of things that we don't even use, that we don't even like, that I don't even know why I've hung on to. So once I chucked everything out that we didn't need anymore, then I started putting items into groups and naturally you would see what groups would warrant a whole storage basket. I started putting it in the cupboards and labeling it. So I will go through what I got. As I said, most stuff is from Poundland and I got a few other bits as well that I think are really cool storage solutions. So I'll just show you. Right, so I'm gonna start with the two covers that I'm most proud of and the ones that have changed the most. I needed these two covers to be for toy storage and also for baby changing. I got these green baskets, these ones with the lid, and also these clear ones, um, all from Poundland. And I also got these fabric ones from Poundland, which I thought were amazing. They're like a glittery gold and cream. And I can't believe that they were just one pound. I would easily spend about five pounds in Dunelms normally on baskets like this, but they were just so, so cheap. Right, so now you can clearly see our toy storage. We have a basket for Play-Doh, puzzles, DVDs, flashcards, batteries, because we have so many batteries for toys, and they were everywhere, and now they're all in one place. We obviously have giant balloons, coloring books, um, arts and crafts and brushes and stickers and really that's like random crafting stuff and also paint and stencils are also in there and we also have sidewalk chalk in this little container here and then over in this cupboard we have a whole shelf of board games and then also the nappy changing and our pegs for laundry are there as well also got this A4 holder from Poundland and then a few of the other like random boxes I already have what I also love about this cupboard now is that everything is labeled I got these labels from Amazon they are black chalkboard labels and it came with the chalkboard pen. They're actually reusable, so if I wanted to wipe it off and write something different, if I have something different in that box in the future, then I can do that. The way that I consolidated their puzzles, they had so many small puzzles like this, and most of them are pretty simple. My son kind of knows a lot of them, so I ended up chucking loads of the boxes and putting them into Ziploc bags. I know that they can't see the picture that they are building, but because they're quite simple puzzles, I just really thought it would be a good idea to get a bit more space. We have our nappies, we have wipes, we also have more wipes behind as storage and then we have like the, we have their creams, nappy bags, Dettol wipes for like the changing area, some teeth of Vaseline, everything really. When we have the new baby it's going to be perfect because I'll have that station there and then I'm going to put a big changing mat here on the surface. Moving down to here I have our sewing machine on show because I think it's quite cool in this room and then I also have our Kath Kidson sewing box which houses everything you're going to need for like sewing labels onto the kids clothes, thread, mending things, pins, all of that. I've had it for years and I really really love it. And then over here I have our first aid box, our laundry detergent and a little area for our remotes and clickers. They used to sort of hang out here but there wasn't a place for them to actually go. So I got this storage from Kath Kidson. I thought it was really really cool. I have another one that I think I'm going to use by the door. So it comes completely flat like this and you just do the poppers in the corner and um, I think you could just use this storage for anything really. I was thinking I might put this one by the front door for like my keys or something. Now there's a place for all of our remotes to actually sit that looks really cute. And I got these two tins from the Cox & Cox website. I really like them and I've had them for years. They're really durable. This one has all of our laundry soap 
in it. I buy it in bulk from Costco and sometimes I like using powder because if you're just washing one item or you know half a load you can just exactly choose how much soap you want to use and it's really cost effective. Here we have our first aid box again it is that kind of tin and it just has everything from paracetamol plasters, germaline, bandages, things like that. Below it has all of our other medicines like Imodium Calpol, you know, an extra EpiPen, all those kinds of things are in here. I'm really pleased with this box because again, I feel like if anyone was looking after the children here, they would know that everything is in this first aid box. And I had a good clear out of what was in it because I had a look and some of our medication was out of date where it was so old. So it was just really time to have a good look at it and a clear out. And then in this cupboard was absolutely horrendous before and now it's all clean and it makes such a difference. I've put spare toilet rolls back there and then I've used an old box that I've had for ages um, for all of my hair products so all of my curlers my blow dryer spray um, and then a few combs and things I have labeled it I probably didn't need to but I just thought it was so cute <laughs> yeah and then up here I have put all of our like lady bits um, in an old makeup case that we had back there um, obviously I'm not going to be needing them for months and months really wanted to show you this storage that I got from Kath Kids so I saw this on the Kath Kids website and I was like that is amazing storage basically this is everything we're going to need in the morning when we're getting the boys ready we naturally get them ready downstairs because we're already down here and to brush your teeth and do their hair and all that kind of stuff it's easier down here so now I can just pull out of the cupboard it has stuff that I use every day like dry shampoo hair brushes this is a spray I put on the boys hair for like any flyaways and then this is the wax we use on their hair which is a brilliant clay it doesn't make it look greasy or anything so we can do their hair we've got their toothbrushes their face cloths yeah and then just little things like nail cutters and tweezers the things that you're always like where are the nail cutters and I've got some lip products for myself hand cream um, a Jo Malone perfume for me if I'm rushing out in the morning and it's oil cloth and it's just so quick to just pull it out get the boys ready and just stick it back like that yeah and then down here was an absolute mess before as well but now I've consolidated everything all of our cleaning products are now in this box which I did get from Dun Elms it says wax and shine on it and it's just really really handy it has all of our bleaches sprays sift cream for this sink um, air freshener basically anything that I'm gonna need to clean this bathroom with and I've also got another Poundland box down here that just houses some spare soaps that I've bought for when we run out some more personal non-bio our vanish cream and also these unstoppable things that make the washing machine smell better if it starts to smell funny so I use them um, and now it's just all housed in one place and it just looks so so clean this area here I normally have a spare hand towel but that is in the wash at the moment I only really ever have two towels I got them from cat kids in and one's normally out and one's always in the wash right so it's much improved I just have to tackle the whole rest of the house now but I really hope you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, and I hope it gave you some ideas and I'll see you very soon bye